Then is the Tempest 2 jacket I've been using for, well, a year now. And I mean, I've been using it for all sorts, on road, off road, hot weather, cold weather. It's great. You've got the exterior lining you can put in, wear out as a separate jacket, or you just got this jacket itself. Two nice little pockets on the side with zips. Um, comfortable to wear. Uh, best thing is you've got these nice little vents here in the corners, which go, and believe it or not, these little vents, quite effective, but the best thing is it's got the back vent as well. Zips are all still functioning after a year. Well, you'd expect to. My last Dandy's jacket lasted about seven years and that was clapped by the, the end of that time, but I absolutely destroyed that. Of course, when you buy these jackets, the back protector is not included, so you've got to buy that extra. You've got to buy the chest armor, but it does have inserts for chest armor, so you can get a bit of chest support or a bit of um, protect your ribs or spread the damage across the ribs rather than just having one or two getting ribbed. If you saw my trip um, earlier this year that I posted, or last year, sorry, end of last year I posted, the October when I went to Scotland, this jacket kept me dry completely for all that time. I mean, a proper week. I was getting a bit damp in the trousers, but my trousers are very old, so I was expecting them to give out and they kind of did a bit, but the jacket kept my core warm and that's really important to keep your centre warm, keeps the rest of you warm as well. Right. But this is such a nice feature. You don't get these, I mean, for a, a mid-range jacket or mid to high range jacket, you don't get this nice feature in all them jackets where you have this lovely removable, removable liner that you can just wear as a normal jacket. It's not particularly waterproof, but this will definitely keep you warm if you're, you know, camping or whatever. You take the motorbike jacket off, which is probably soaked, and wear one of these. Combine this with a poncho, you're lovely and warm and dry. But yeah, it's a nice little jacket that I can put on easily underneath. And it all comes and yeah, you can clip it all in if you want. It's got all the tags and stuff. I don't bother, but you might want to bother. And then you're absolutely snug as a bug in all of this. Absolutely lovely and toasty. And a couple of little things I don't particularly like. Velcro ends. I mean, eventually this is going to get too dirty and that might fail, but it's been a year of me on-roading, off-roading, so it hasn't lost any of its grip, so I think it might be all right, and it's not like a high pressure point, so I'm okay with that. And everything else seems to be, I guess, fine. Nothing else I can really judge. I mean, I do like the Velcro things. Uh, possibly it's better than poppers. Maybe not as good as, I mean, zips are okay, but they can break, but just don't like that. That's the only negative I have on this jacket. So yeah, that's what the jacket looks like after a year. After a few thousand miles have been done and it's still got a bit of mud on it from off-roading the other day. If you like that review, whatever, drop it a like, whatever. Let me know what jackets you've got. I'm not, remember this is not a super expensive jacket. It's not a super cheap jacket. It's that good middle range. It's not Gore-Tex, it's D-Dry. So Gore-Tex gives you a little bit more waterproofness um but d dry it's about half but it's still really really effective if it went for that few days in scotland and it was raining every single day and i kept dry on the inside damp around the cuffs shall we say but that's can be expected but other than that fine perfect all-round jacket fine for everything on road off road sports bikes cubs i use it for all